Once Sage Akpak Intelligence is activated in your company, you can start using this powerful reporting tool to run some of the various shipped reports and to even create your own reports. And you do that through the Report Manager. The Report Manager is your one-stop screen for all management of reports, running reports, and defining report settings. Through the Report Manager, you can select and run some of the various shipped reports that we have included with Sage Akpak Intelligence, copy and paste these shipped reports to save them as your own, or to edit them as your own, you can define report settings here, and you can save report templates. But before we get into the report manager, it's probably a good idea to give you an idea of some of the types of standard reports that are included out of the box with Sage Akpak Intelligence. Some of the reports that we have include dashboard reports, multiple financial reports, reports for inventory, sales, and purchases, there is metric and KPI reporting, there is also trend reporting, and some of those elements are included in our other reports as well. And finally, if you have the analysis component that requires a separate license, needs to be purchased separately, but if you have the analysis component, you can create data cubes and build reports off of those data cubes, and there will be several cube reports available out of the box. So let's take a look at the report manager now. When you first open the Report Manager window, you might find it a bit overwhelming with all of the options and features and buttons that you see. But here are the key things that you need to remember. On the left-hand side, you'll see various folders, and that's where your reports are. Your reports are always going to appear on the left-hand side, and they've been placed in folders to make it easier for you to navigate. If you double-click on any of the folders, you'll see the reports that exist in those folders. And this is just a taste of some of the uh, sample reports, some of the standard reports that come with Sage Akpak Intelligence. And each of these reports will work out of the box for your specific company. So you can run these reports to see which one will meet your information and your reporting needs best. You might notice that some of the reports listed have different colored icons to the left. The yellow icons relate to data cubes, are reports that are driven and run off of data cubes. So again, you would require the analysis component of Sage Akpak Intelligence for that. That. If you don't have an analysis license, you won't be able to see those reports or run those reports. Some of the icons are in green, and that just indicates that there are multiple reports in that one report that are going to be run at the same time. They're what we call union reports. And finally, the blue reports are just regular, straightforward reports. Now, there is a menu bar at the top. There is a toolbar as well. But most of those features on the menu bar and the toolbar can be accessed by simply right-clicking on a folder or right-clicking on a report itself. Now when you click on a report, the right-hand side of the screen will show you the report options and settings. Most of the shipped reports, though, lock you from editing those settings. So you'll notice here that down on the bottom right-hand corner, it actually tells me that the report is locked for editing, and it gives you instructions for what you need to do if you need to edit those settings. Something else that you'll notice on the right-hand side is a description of the report. So that's a very helpful tool for us to understand what types of information would be included in each of these reports. Running a report is very simple. All you need to do is click on the report that you want to run, and you can right-click or you can click on the toolbar and select Run which is the green arrow on the toolbar here. If there are parameters that are required for the report, they will appear on the right-hand side in a separate window. As you can see, for this particular report that I'm running, I'm running the Sales Master Report, it requires a start date and an end date for the report. So I can type in a date here, or I can click on the button to the right of the field and select the appropriate dates. My sample company happens to be in 2010, and I know there's a fair bit of transactions in June 2010, so I'm going to run my report for the month of June 2010. When I say OK, Sage Akpak Intelligence goes through getting the information necessary to generate the report, and it produces the report in Microsoft Excel format. And that's the important thing to note here. When we talk about reports with Sage Akpak Intelligence, we're talking about Excel files. The output will always be in Excel. 
So I can now save this file and I can work with it in Microsoft Excel if I need to analyze the numbers any further, if I need to hide certain columns from appearing or add different columns to appear. You'll see it's a pivot table so I can work with the pivot table functions of this. But all of that is within Microsoft Excel. So I have the ability to save this as an Excel workbook and then deal with it as an Excel workbook. Now let's run one of the financial reports. I'm going to take the financial reports SB and run that. Again, I'll run it exactly the same way. I'll go to my toolbar and I'll select Run. In this case, the parameter required is for the financial year. So I can just type in the year 2010 and say OK, and it'll generate the report. While the report's being generated, you will note on the bottom of the screen, Sage Pack Intelligence is keeping track of the time it takes to run the report and who's running the report. So all of that information is logged. Now when I run this report, this happens to be one of my financial report packages available with Sage Pack Intelligence. And you'll notice there is an instructions worksheet giving me some additional information for the report itself. But in order to see my financial statements, I can click on the menu worksheet. And you'll notice here that, again, out of the box, we have various report options, various financial reports available, but this includes 12 different types of financial statements. To select a particular financial statement to run, I can simply select one of the buttons. In this case, I'll just take the first income statement. It's going to add this income statement as a worksheet to my Excel file, so I can choose the name of that worksheet here. I'll leave the default and it will generate the file for me. It will generate the worksheet for me. It will format the worksheet. And in the end, I will have my financial statement. And again, all I need to do is save this as an Excel file, and I'd be able to work with it within Excel. And that's it for running reports through the report manager.